Okay. Uh, hey, everyone. Uh, my name is Saran Norris. I'm here uh, broadcasting live here from uh, 24th Street in the Mission. Uh, Mr. B, uh, we call him Brendan, or Brendan is his real name, but we call him Mr. B. Mr. B works with me. He's one of my teachers. Uh, how are you doing today, Mr. B? I'm doing really well. Thank you for asking. How about yourself? Uh, uh, no one cares. Uh, uh, I just got back from vacation. I'm okay. Uh, uh, I'm easing into it at uh, five o'clock uh, at night. So my motivation is, uh, it's going to kind of drum up uh, here in the next 15 minutes. So I'm ready to go. Uh, uh, so uh, good evening, everyone. We're going to do animation. Me and Mr. B, we've been teaching for probably about six months remotely. Um, we've kind of been doing all kinds of things and experimenting. And so uh, we kind of have our thing down. But at the same time, we try to make it a little bit more complicated with ourselves by trying to bring in different curriculum and trying to uh, change it up and challenge ourselves. Also, at the same time, challenge students. The thing that we do is we're teaching cartooning and we're teaching animation, but we're teaching it analog. We're teaching it paper and pencil, everything that you have in your house with no fancy computers or anything like that. Now, that being said, at the end of this class, we're happy to lay it down and tell you some things that uh, you can do to your uh, pieces of paper, your drawings that you're going to have to uh, digitize them, to put them on your phone uh, and, and animate them. Uh, um, in real life. So uh, we'll let you, uh, we'll give you information on that towards the end. But today, uh, we'll, we'll let some people come in. We're still doing introductions, so it's a good time uh, for people to kind of roll in. But today, we just want to kind of focus on traditional animation. So that's just paper and pencil. They literally don't even really do this anymore. Everything is kind of done digitally, but at the same time, uh, I think it's the best way to learn animation. It's also the best way to learn animation remotely with basically anything you can find in your house. So what we want to do is we want to do cartoons first uh, and then we want to go into our lesson. The way we, me and Mr. B teach is we like to do contextual learning. So that means that what we like to do is we like to come up with a project and then we like to learn while we're doing the project. Okay. So we'll let a couple more people are still coming in. That's good. Um, so I think what the first thing that we'll start to do is uh, we'll go straight into cartooning uh, and then our lesson. Today, our lesson is going to be a walk cycle. So that's just going to be eight frames of a walk cycle. We're just going to be dra uh, drawing a character, animating a character, walking <laughs> side view from the side, a walk cycle. So eight drawings, okay, from head to toe. So the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna do cartooning of how to draw side view heads, okay? And so I want to try to be as broad as I can in terms of uh, the cartoon styles that I'm going to draw right now and uh, what I'm going to teach you. But right now, we're just going to focus on the cartoon head. So when we get to our project, which is doing a walk cycle, you can now kind of maybe figure out and visualize the character that you want to animate, that you want to walk, uh, because it is going to be eight frames of the same character, not eight frames of a different character, not eight frames of a different character that lost a bunch of weight between frame one and frame eight, or lost a significant amount of height between frame one or frame eight, or lost a significant amount of weight in either one arm or one leg between frame one and frame eight. Am I making you laugh, Mr. B? He I knows just... because we've sat there and had summer camp and we taught, uh, I, I feel like we must have taught like 200 kids animation this summer. Um, so we are prepared. Okay. Also, Saran, um, when we design our characters, should I put a thousand pockets on them? You know what? Uh, with this side view character, you definitely are not going to want to add things. But I have to say this. We are going to animate right now. And so I think that it's the smartest thing you do is animate our bodies the simplest as possible. I don't think we're going to animate them with clothes right away. I think we're just going to try to uh, make it as simple as possible. I think the head, uh, the way the head's shaped and the character of the head, I think that's probably going to be something that we're going to kind of work into. But the clothes right now, let's see. But nothing should be too complicated. Mr. B is right because we're constantly going to have to repeat it. You're going to have to draw the same thing eight times. Okay. So if you make it too complicated for yourself, you're going to burn out. Okay. And we don't want to burn out. We want to actually complete something. Uh, okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a fresh piece of paper, eight and a half by 11. Uh, let's get that. Get your pencils out. Uh, I am going to, I think I talked a little bit about, you can ping my uh, board, a drawing board, B. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, so I think I talked about a little bit about when we're drawing that we need to have various levels of pressure, okay? B, 
because when we're sketching, we want to kind of build things. If we start to press too hard, excuse me, then our lines are going to be really dark and we kind of can't come back from that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of use this orange pencil or this orange dry erase to kind of symbolize me kind of drawing very light. And then we want to kind of define things a little bit more. We're going to add a little bit more pressure. Now, if you're fancy and you have yourself an ink pen, well, then this would just be your pencil. And then the ink pen would be the way that you would kind of uh, refine your character a little bit. But if you just have a pencil, just be concerned about how uh, hard you uh, press um, uh, that, uh, that pencil down. Uh, I need eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, landscape. You know what, here's the deal. If you think that you can fit two characters on both this piece of paper without actually having to fold it in the middle and get yourself a guideline, then cool, okay? But if not, go ahead and fold it in the middle so you have a nice guideline in the middle. Open it back up. I'm gonna do one character here. I'm gonna do one character here. So get your piece of paper set up. I'm going to try to I'm gonna try to set this board up here. I'm gonna lift my camera up, make sure we get the whole board. Make sure it is not tilted. How we doing, Mr. B, is it good? Looks we good. We see the whole thing, yeah? Yeah, top to bottom. Okay. I'm going to draw my first character. Let me get my folded piece of paper here. Okay. I got my folded piece of paper here. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna work on this side right here. This is gonna be my space right here. now. Normally, if you were going to kind of come into one of our animation camps, it would be 20 hours or whatever, but we have two hours, so we're just going to have to pick our battles here, okay? So right now, we're going to learn cartooning, but we're going to learn cartooning only side view because that's technically what we're going to be using in our animation exercise. Now, that being said, Mr. B, mm -hmm. Mr. B, am I here to teach them how to draw like me? Nope. Uh, I think that everybody, I think a lot of people, if you, drew, if you signed up for this class, then obviously you're into cartooning. Obviously you have your own cartoon style. Uh, so that means that I need you to bring that out right now. I need you to follow directions, but at the same time, I need you to apply your own cartoon style to the things that we teach you. So if you, want, if you need to take something in another direction, that is all fine. Uh, we are not here to teach you anything but the fundamentals of animation, okay? All right. Uh, you want to explain to them the uh, take a step? Yeah, go ahead. Do you want to explain to him the step? Taking Say a step. Every time, you don't have to draw exactly the way he draws, but every time he takes a step, you take a step. So if he moves his arm, move your arm. If he moves a head, you move your head. You don't have to draw exactly the way he draws, though. Right, Sir Ron? Uh, true, but when we come to animation, it's going to be a little bit different um, uh, because we're going to be drawing the same sorry, thing. It's all right, dude. Mr. B. You know, I know you're doing the same thing, but this is uh, uh, it's all new curriculum. Uh, we're all trying to experiment cool. and we're all trying new things. You know me, I don't like to do the same thing. And look, Calvin, how are we gonna have Amen. Calvin in this class and teach Calvin the same <laughs> thing? That little dude, he's a lead, he's, he's a future punch in the lead, air man. So we, gotta, we, gotta, we gotta give him some tools, man. Okay, I'm gonna draw my first character right here. I am not gonna make it complicated for myself, people. I'm just gonna go straight circle right here, okay? Just straight circle. Now look, I, I want you to imagine that this red marker here is going to be uh, my light, I'm gonna try to draw maybe a little bit bigger, is gonna be my light pencil, okay? If you don't have an ink pen. If you have an ink pen, go on with your bad self, okay? Just draw with your pencil and then ink it up when you want to. I've got my view, my, my head right here. I'm gonna do a side view head. So what I wanna do is I wanna have my guidelines. I would be doing this if I was doing a front head. I'd still have my guidelines. I wanna know where my eyes are and where my mouth is. So I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say this line right here, that's my eye line, okay? I'm gonna say this line right here, that's where my mouth is gonna go, okay? Because we are humans, I'm sure you understand what goes here, that is the nose, okay? All right, now, this is what I'm gonna do, take my shirt off, it's a little hot. Okay, now, this is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my marker right here just to, just to change it up here. I'm gonna add my eye. Now I'm gonna do a side view eye here. I'm not gonna make it too complicated for myself here. I'm just gonna make a side view eye. I have it that I'm gonna tilt this eye that goes a little bit towards the contour of this face right here. So I'm just gonna do this nice oval. If you see, I kind of tilt it a little bit, okay? See, it has that little tilt. I didn't kind of sit that straight thing straight up. Let me get in here a little bit so we get that glare out of here. Okay. All right, so I've got this, uh, uh, I've got this uh, eye right here. I'm gonna maybe put a little bit of eyebrow right here. 
I'm going to put my pupil in here. Now, this character is looking forward, okay? I'm not going to put this character, this eyeball right here, okay? That would be like if he was side-eyeing me or something like that. That is not going to be the situation. This character uh, has nothing against me, okay? So I'm going to put a pupil right here, close to the edge, but not on the edge. So the character is looking forward, okay? I always like to have a little bit of contour. Right now, this basically looks like a little bubble. I mean, a little ball. So if I have a little bit of contour, where I'm able to kind of come down and give a little bit of forehead, it really works good with your noses. Now look, I need us all to understand, drawing a character side view is really easy because with drawing the nose, you can easily draw a character's age or weight or uh, uh, um, gender or anything. The side profile nose really can kind of define a person. So really kind of, if you want to design a character, really designing its nose really kind of adds to what that character is going to be, okay? So I'll actually, actually, be honest with you, my nose got a little bit big and it went down to my mouth. So I'm going to shorten that up a little bit. I've got my mouth right here. I'm just going to go simple. I'm not going to try to make anything too complicated. I'm going to go out here and I'm going to go right up there with a nice smile, okay? This would be a good and, time to pause. Okay, let's pause. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to add an ear. That's it. You guys catch up. It's just a seed. I like this method okay. of the profile head. Uh, yeah, it's new stuff. Um, uh, well, it's, I mean, it's not new stuff, but uh, it, it's going to go great with, uh, um, uh, with, this, uh, with this new lesson. But we need an hour, so we need to pull this. We need to make sure I say that by six, uh, mm -hmm. we're gonna have to pull this off. So watch me on that B for sure. Okay, let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and put hair on this guy. You can do your own thing because right now, every time we have a face like this, you need to do it on your own. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my own thing. You do your own thing in terms of hair, all that kind of stuff, okay? Then let me know that we're gonna move on. This is also a good place to erase if you need to. All right. All right. I think we're good. We're good. Okay. I'm killing this. Uh, again, feel free to uh, raise your hand, et cetera, et cetera, if you need us to slow down. Okay. I'm moving on. I'm going to try to take this same idea, but I'm going to try to loosen it up a little bit. Uh, so again, side view, side view. I'm going to do a shape like that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do the same shape like that, but uh, I just uh, need to draw a little bit bigger. I have to feel that, you know, we need to really take advantage of the screen space that we have here. Just because we're learning online here, we need to make sure that we don't have trouble seeing that at all. Okay. So I've got a nice space like this. This is going to be our side view. This is going to be our side view. Uh, I'm going to go eyes, nose, and mouth. Now, if you see, I have a little bit of an arch right here. I have a little bit of an arch. So that means I can kind of get my character to look up a little bit. I'm just gonna go eye line here and I'm gonna go mouth here. So I kind of got this space here. I kind of kind of got this arch going on, okay? This is just gonna be a stylized character. Again, whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go uh, just regular eye that we had before. I'm on our eye line right here, okay? But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some expression to this eye. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do angry. So I'm gonna kind of come in here. Actually, I'm gonna switch mar markers right here. I'm gonna kind of come in here and I'm gonna, boom, bring my brow down and I'm gonna add a little bit more emotion and bring my bottom brow up, fill my eye in there and then get my pupil in there like that. 
I'm going to erase all this stuff just so it doesn't get confusing. These bottom eyelids, top eyelids down. If we wanted to, we could have a nice eyebrow in there like that. The character's really angry. Perfect spots for our nose to kind of come down here. Okay, again, that can be no, that nose can be whatever you want. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to amp it up to where I'm going to open up this mouth. How am I doing, Mr. B? I'd pause for a sec. This eye looks really good, but make sure everybody is it comfortable getting that mad emotion. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. What I want to do is I want to create a mouth, but I want to create this mouth and I want to open it, but I don't want to lift up my pencil. I want to make sure that I have this contour of this mouth open up the whole time. This is actually a kind of thing that they've done in The Simpsons, uh, but it's really important that you kind of do it in all in one fail swoop. We right, good? good? Yeah, you're good. Okay, I'm going to come out here. I'm going to go out here, open up and then close it up right there for the bottom lip. So I have a character that is kind of talking. I can do teeth right here. I can do teeth on the bottom or maybe just tongue. It looks like a character's actually communicating, yelling, whatever. I'm gonna add a little ear here. You can do whatever you want to the rest of this character. Go on, I'm gonna finish it up. Kind of like a get off my, my lawn kind of guy here. Get my contour in here a little bit. Okay, oh, now, What's, what, I, what I want everybody to kind of look at is this idea that right, what we're doing right now is we're just kind of really kind of sketching these characters' ideas down. Uh, and hopefully, uh, by the time we start our exercise, you're going to be able to either choose one of these eyes, one of these noses, or something, pick apart uh, with these various uh, heads that we're doing to maybe find something uh, that you can kind of connect with uh, to move forward uh, with, your, with your final project. Let me know, Mr. B. For sure. Pick it back up at 5.30 in about one more minute. Let's check in and see if the pace is too much for anyone. Let me type that in the chat. You can also privately message me too if you don't feel comfortable letting everybody know. I like this guy, he's cool. This is he's a good, good one. set though. <laughs> All right. Now, if you have, you, I'm good? Yeah, what were you gonna you say are. though? Uh, I was just gonna say that if you have like a total anime style or something that's totally different than this, then I'd expect you to just draw one of your characters angry from a side view. So I just wanna make sure Hey, Saron, we lost your phone. It was picking up your audio. Uh oh, sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. Give me one quick second. Sorry, I'm so sorry, everybody. Hang tight for one quick second. Uh, your phone turned off. It was picking up your audio. It's fixing it right now.
Hmm. So let's do this really quick while Sharon is getting that hammered out because I feel like maybe his phone died. I'm not too sure, unfortunately, but oh, here we go. Never mind. Well, that didn't work out. You're back with us. What happened? That's crazy, huh? Hey. All right. We're cool? Yeah. All right. All right. All right, everyone. Sorry about that. I'm going to fix that up a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to go straight down. Oops. I need my red. Sorry, I lost my concentration. Maybe I could make this bigger, but eh, it's good enough. I have literally no space right now in front of my computer. I got this drawing board like, whoa. Okay, uh, so I'm just gonna go like this. I'm gonna go eyes, I'm gonna go and nose, I mean mouth. I'm gonna make this one a little bit more serious, just a little bit. Uh, okay, I'm going to do uh, a side view eye here. I'm gonna kind of change it up to where I'm gonna actually almost take this identical shape and reduce it down to a smaller size for a nice eye. Now, this eyeball is looking forward. It is gonna be a complete sphere. So you really need to make sure that you're hardly barely seeing this thing. It needs to be pretty shallow, okay? You're not really gonna see that much of it. So if you make it a little bit, you know, you make it any more bigger, it's really not gonna start, it's really gonna kind of start to take that character off a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put a nice eyebrow here. I'm gonna make this character a little bit more masculine. I'm gonna kind of come in here with a brow and I'm just gonna go simple nose here. Simple contour. One thing I need you to understand is when you draw lips, you wanna be cognizant about putting the front lip forward and the bottom lip underneath, you're making kind of an Ophi character that's got a lot of weight and you would do the exact opposite. So you'd make a, like a Neanderthal, you'd bring the bottom up and or the bottom lip forward and the, and the top lip back. So I'm just gonna do that, not do that. So I'm gonna bring the top lip forward and the bottom lip back, okay? Makes things just look a little bit more normal. Other than that, the exact opposite would be so this would be kind of like if you're going to draw Fred Flintstone or something like that, ne Neanderthal. Okay. Now I'm not saying that's wrong. That's a style choice. That is a character design. Okay. So that's up to you. It's just my job to show you that. Uh, go ahead, turn this into whatever you want to turn this into. I'm going to go ahead and finish this character up. Okay. Let me know, Mr. V. For sure. All right, I think we're good. All right, we're moving on, we're moving on. Uh, we're going serious style right now. So this is really uh, an opportunity for you to kind of push your weight of your pencil. We're just gonna go serious. I'm gonna actually put a lot more lines in this thing than I'm actually gonna need. But what it's gonna do is it's gonna help me build uh, this head, this side view head, a little bit more realistic. Uh, so I'm going to go top of head. Now, what's cool is this is my eye line right here. 
I'm saying this is going to be my eye line. I'm actually making it the whole shape. Okay. My eye line is going to hit right here. My eyes are going to hit right here. And then I'm going to come down and I'm going to add the shape. So it's really important that I have this ball back here. And then I kind of come down and add that face shape. Okay. This is going to be a little bit more realistic mouth line right here. My eye line is kind of already built into the shape because basically I'm drawing, I'm drawing the top of my head. Okay. If I was going to draw my character right here for uh, front view, it would be, okay. This is where we'd be trying to get to with that. Okay. So it's messy, but uh, you know, hopefully you're drawing light. Okay. Now I'm going to do our uh, side view Dorito eye kind of situation right here. I'm just going to kind of uh, almost do the same thing that we did last time. Again, this is going to be uh, what style that you want. It's really important that you don't make the eye too big. Uh, if we're going to do something a real, a little bit more realistic, then you want to try to drop the size of the eye. We've been doing really kind of cartoony stuff with really big eyes, but if you want something a little bit more realistic, something a little bit more uh, manga or anime, anime, you're going to want to drop the size of the eyes. I'm going to do a contour. I'm going to make a character that is a little bit more feminine. I'm going to come out with a maybe smaller nose. I'm going to do a little bit more feminine lips. I'm going to do mouth open. Okay, so I'm going to come out. I'm going to get my lips there. I'm just going to make sure that my bottom lips, my bottom lip is going to be uh, a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger, actually. Character's a little shocked or something. A little bit smaller ear. And you can go ahead and turn this into whatever you want. This thing's dead. I'm surprised we have not heard from my puppies. They have not seen me in forever and they have been the quietest possible dogs today. I know you're teaching. I know. If they, do you think so? No. <laughs> like they don't respect me for anything. They don't care. <laughs> they don't care. Although I think they missed me when I was on vacation. Oh no. All right, 540, Saron. Okay. Uh, can I move forward? Yes, we're good to go. All right, two more. I think this is going to be perfect. All right, everyone, let's pull off that stuff. Let's have some fun. I'm going to go square. Let's just make things a little bit more fun, not so serious. I'm gonna go nice square. And I'm gonna do a combo shape. I'm gonna go so I can make kind of a dog bear character right here. So this is a great side view. Real easy. This could be whatever animal that you want, depending on how big you make this nose.
Now, this could be a bear. You could put ears up here. It could be a dog. Okay, whatever you want, real nice and simple. So if you want to anamorphosize dog or some kind of animal or something like that, that's the one. You can make it shorter, so you can take this same thing and then you can make a shorter nose, so you can make a gato if you want to. Look at that cat, I'm gonna have him sitting right on top of this dude's nose. Okay. All right, let me know, B. That was a quick one, for sure. One more, one last one. I think this is a lot of different versions of side views, so I think that you're gonna be fine in terms of picking one uh, to animate. I got one more to do. This one's gonna be a little bit more of a human one but it's going to be stylized and it's going to be a simple one. All right, last one. Nice. All right, I think we're good. All right, last one. I'm gonna get my light marker here. So I'm just gonna sketch this out. I'm gonna do a nice oval. I'm gonna do a nice oval. Okay, this is gonna be the majority of my head. And then what I wanna do is I wanna connect a nose, but I actually wanna kind of just basically draw the jaw, the front part that kind of protrudes out, which was going to kind of combo our nose and our mouth all together. So this is kind of a stylized version. I'd say th these characters tend to exist more in 3D animation um, uh, than, uh, uh, than 2D. So let's stylize, let's work this character out here. Uh, I'm going to, of course, do an eye. I'm not going to do my eye too big. Uh, stylized character, so my nose is not going to be that subtle, or I mean, uh, that uh, kind of obvious. And then I'm going to bring everything into the neck here. Ooh, I like this nice black marker. So this can be feminine, masculine, whatever you want. But it's kind of kind of creating everything very stylized, but all in one swoop and really kind of like uh, bringing, it's really a combination between, I feel like the simple drawings that we're doing and a little bit more of the complex ones. This is a little bit more of what, how also they kind of create a head in Bob's Burgers. So, uh, it's kind of like this idea of balloons. So the neck and the head are all kind of connected together. And then everything is kind of stylized off of that. With hair and blah, blah, blah. But you're doing that neck combo versus putting the head and then drawing the neck. You see what I'm saying? Which is very traditional. This is all done in kind of one combo set. Okay? I think we're good. You ready to do this, Mr. B? Let everybody finish this and then uh, let's switch cameras. I like it.
thank you everybody again for joining us. And if you're just now joining us, uh, the first half is first, first 45 minutes. We did a little bit of cartooning, um, just learning how to draw faces from the side profile. But right now we're gonna be switching gears and jumping into our animation project. So hopefully we have about eight sheets of blank computer paper ready to go. I'm gonna cut out of audio because I need to switch to headphones, but okay. I'm gonna keep this, uh, this main screen on. All good. Back. And feel free to take this time also to uh, continue designing your characters as crazy as possible. Let me show you what I got. I didn't do too much designing, but hopefully you guys are able to push characters. Thank you, Rafaela. Thank you, Calvin. All right, we're back. Hey. Let me get my camera switched here. Thanks. Boom. That's a trick too I learned in, during summer camp is the phone screen rotation. Yeah, I, I hate that because the second you touch any settings, it goes right back. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, let's get uh, our piece of paper right now. It's probably only going to need like two or one right now. Um, uh, let's just get one at a time. We'll slowly be building uh, this paper as it goes. But right now, I got too much tilt on this thing, huh? Okay, we're good with that, yeah, B? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, we ready? We're good to go. So just one sheet of blank paper, correct? Yeah, I'm just, yeah, I have cool. two right now. But uh, one thing that everybody's gonna get need to get used to is called the magic shuffle. Uh, this is what me and Mr. B do all the time, the magic shuffle. Uh, uh, just being able to make sure that your papers are all aligned. Slowly, we're gonna be building up uh, sheets. So you just want to kind of get used to that. Uh, we don't have to worry about that for now. Uh, this is what I want to do. I need a baseline. Okay. Now I know a lot of you are probably not going to have a ruler. Uh, you might have a book. You might have a magazine. Uh, you might have a business card or something like that. I'm going to get my business card. What I basically need is I just need some kind of flat line, straight line that kind of represents uh, the ground that our character is going to walk on. And I don't want to draw the biggest character in the world. So I feel like if I, if my character is draw or walking on this ground, then I don't want the tallest character. So I want to make sure I have a line to say, Hey, my character is only going to go that tall. Okay. So I'm going to take a nice line and I say, that's a good, this is a good one right here. This is perfect. Okay. So my character is going to be this big. Okay. Now, if it was this big, that's just more drawing you're doing. So if you, I, I don't want you to draw the smallest character in the world, but I, I feel like this is a good size. Okay. So I'm doing a decent amount of drawing. My character is going to be a decent size, but um, uh, I'm not going to be doing major amounts of drawing. Okay. So let's do this. Uh, I have one really important thing that has to get done. And this is what we do uh, before we do any uh, animation is we have to label our frame. So this is going to be frame one right here. I'm going to go number one. Make sure that we do that just in case uh, we get these things out of order because in a lot of ways uh, they'll be looking very similar uh, to each other. How are we doing Mr. B? Mr. B? All right. I'm sorry, I was muted. We're good. 
Oh, we're good? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start to draw. Now, I'm going to draw a head shape here. I'm not going to make it too complicated for myself. Right now, I think it's really important that we learn how to animate. And yes, we can draw these characters and get these shapes in here, but we should just really be careful uh, not to spend too much time doing all this detail. It's stuff that we can do later. It's stuff that we can do after we get the fundamentals of this animation down on the paper. So if you see me do some detail, just about as go as much as that. But remember, we can kind of come back to all these and detail them out a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a head shape right here. Now I know that that my head is going to give me the rest of the shaped body here. So if I make my head a little bit bigger, then my body's going to be uh, a little bit bigger. So it's up to you, whatever you want to do, uh, whatever kind of head that you want to have, or, you know, your legs are going to be a little bit, bit bigger, but I'm just going to go, you know, decent size right here. Nothing too huge. I'm just going to go simple head. So my first one's probably going to be rough. First frame's gonna be rough. We're gonna just gonna kind of pick it up. I might just do an eye and get my nose here and maybe a mouth. That's about all I'm gonna do, maybe an ear. So let's get our head and we'll move on. I'm gonna throw a little neck here. I'm gonna give everybody time, a little bit of time to do that. You do this, you let me know, Mr. B. For sure. Could you scoot your paper over to the left just a little bit? Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. I like it. Am I dark enough? Yeah, I'm dark enough. Could I move in a little bit? Okay. Now, everybody really needs to make sure that Mr. B has those signals so we know uh, when we can move on. I'm just going to take this extra time that we have, and I'm just going to go ahead and put some hair in this dude. My first frame is going to be really messy uh, uh, because this is just I'm working my character out. But uh, all these frames from on, we'll just be tracing over a lot of this stuff. So it'll be a lot smoother, a lot cleaner. I think we're good. Okay, I have a body that is moving forward on a walk cycle. So this character is kind of uh, propelling forward. So I want to take my body and make a side view, or I mean, make it kind of at a little bit of an angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of make a simple body. I'm going to have my body weight kind of get right down in the bottom area. And then I'm just going to kind of taper it straight up to my neck. Now, notice that this has a little bit of an angle. Okay, notice that has a little bit of an angle. So it reads as my character's moving forward. Now, if this butt area, this bottom area is so far down here, then you're going to have some little tiny legs. Now, listen, that's cool, okay? But it might be harder to animate when the legs get really short, okay? So just make sure that you have uh, enough space uh, uh, for your legs. You also don't want leg, long legs either. And you could kind of come back and tweak, tweak this out a little bit if you want to. I'm going to go ahead with legs. This is a walk cycle here. This is frame one. So we're gonna have our character lift their leg out and impact with the ground. That's the first thing that we're gonna do. Also, I need you to understand that this leg right now is in front of us. So I'm going to erase this. I suggest some of you do this too now. I want you to understand that this leg, we're seeing the thigh. That is in front. That is what we're seeing right now, okay? So don't get it twisted with seeing the rest of that in there. You don't wanna get confused of what foot is in front and what foot is in back. I'm just going to take this to the knee. I hope you realize I just took it to the knee. I just want to have an opportunity to take it then from the knee all the way to my foot, just so I can kind of control my calf muscle, control anything like that, and then hit it right on the heel. Boom. Right on the heel. This is my foot. Okay. Now, people, this could be a tennis shoe eventually, a boot, et cetera, et cetera. This ain't the time. This ain't the time, okay? You can maybe do a little bit of stuff like that. But right now, we need to get these fundamentals. We need to get these designs done. And then we can kind of come back and add all that accoutrement and all those clothes, et cetera, et cetera. We have, this is an original walk cycle frame one. So everybody is going to be, in, or every foot is going to be impacted on the ground. So I'm going to do the other foot that is now further away from us. I'm just Sorry. going to take it to the- I'd pause oh. for a second, Sarah. Sorry. Okay. 
I want to let everybody know, me and Mr. B and uh, Bria, Miss B, we, we run after school classes uh, every day after school. We're also going to be having a, a, a couple more programs uh, coming up for uh, winter and, and, uh, uh, and fall time for those breaks that we have there as well. Uh, we also are going to do a live show coming up, huh, Mr. B? Yes. We're going to go live with some puppets. Oh, cool. Teaching Thank you, Raphael. Oh, that's right. Yes, we are. The live show. Of course, I remembered. Gonna be so and, fun. Uh, and then hopefully we'll have a big Halloween extravaganza. Mm. Virtual Halloween. Virtual Twilight Halloween. Zoom. Twilight Zoom. <laughs> I think we're good to go. Nightmare Second on night. Zoom Street. <laughs> Nightmare on Zoom Street. Okay, I'm gonna do our back leg. I'm gonna go straight to the knee. I'm gonna go straight to the knee. Now remember, these these every foot is impacting. The only foot that's gonna be impacting this time is going to be the toe, just the toe. So I'm gonna go straight to my foot. That is going to determine how long my toe is, is how much I angled this knee down. So if you need to drop your knee down just so you don't have the biggest toe in the world, go ahead, okay? Or be foot, but this needs to land right on the toe, that's it, okay? So now I got my character, my character's legs are set. It's very important that you have this area empty so you understand that this is the leg that is in front. This is the leg that is in back, okay? It's really important because then we get to the eventually the other side, you don't want to be confused. I'm gonna move on with arms. Mr. V, are we cool like that? Like 50, 20 seconds. The legs are pretty important and it's not easy to nail that, that walking. No. Same thing, hopefully you guys have erasers. If you draw a funky looking leg, feel free to erase it, make adjustments. Um, also, Saron, do you want to elaborate on the importance of frame one? uh in terms of just because ahead. they're going to be tracing it uh yeah i was i said i was it was going to be very messy it was the one that we're going to experiment with uh that it's going to be messy but uh it is important in terms of these are where our guidelines are going to be we're we'll have to mm -hmm. constantly trace these guidelines uh uh yeah yeah i see what you're saying though be it's not like that oh. or i mean it's different from uh um uh from if we were going to make a movie oh, okay all right, I think we're good for the arms. Okay, uh, let's go out here. I'm gonna take it from the shoulder. I'm gonna come off from the shoulder right here. So you can see I'm rubbing my pencil uh, right on where this shoulder's gonna come out from. This arm is going to be the forward arm. So this arm is gonna be way out. I'm just gonna go to the elbow. It's gonna go to the elbow. I'm gonna erase this just so you know that this arm is the arm that is in front of us right now, okay? I'm gonna then do a little bit of a bend going down to uh, my forearm, going down to my hand, okay? And then I'm gonna just go to a straight square, okay? Just do a nice square right here to get this hand in there. Make sure that that square isn't too big, unless that's the stylization of your character, then that's cool, okay? All we need to do to finish this hand is get a little thumb action, okay? Get a little thumb action. You got, you got uh, 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 easy, off easy, because you're basically seeing the outside or the outside of this hand. So you don't really have to go do all that work of drawing uh, the inside of a hand, which is hard. I'm going to throw a little knuckle action right here just to kind of make it a little bit more realistic, okay? I'll let you draw that real quick. I'm just going to go ahead and throw in maybe a shirt, maybe some, so a waist right here. So I know where my pants and where my shirt end. I'm gonna move on to the other arm. This other arm, we need to understand that it is on the other side of the body. It is further away. So we're going to see a little bit less of it. 
What I'm going to do right now is this kind of, uh, I'm going to kind of show a little bit of the arm because you have to understand that it is mostly hidden uh, back. Most of it is hidden back. So I'm going to take it straight to the elbow right here, but you have to understand that boop, 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 it's kind of all back there. We just can't see it. My sound effects. Thank you. Sound effects are the best. You, but you claim that you are better than me when it comes to drawing sound effects. That's Even what the people been, have claimed. I invented them. I invented them. <laughs> so the that's students fine. voted on. I don't take that's credit fine. for it. It's just the people said. Yeah. Well, because I stopped teaching and you just took it over. So <laughs> well, okay. you teach all the kids now. So um, so I don't get a chance to impress them. That's why. That's how sure. I'm going to go ahead and do with my sound effects. My sound effects are so good. Um, I'm going to draw this rectangle squares thing. Remember, I'm going to put the thumb. And I'm going to put a couple lines right here just to kind of show my figure. Okay. You really want to get great with five fingers, then you can go ahead and do those. You can add a little knuckles if you want to. Again, you know, this, this one's going to be a little messy, but this is going to be the main one that I'm going to trace off of. And this is going to kind of start uh, our whole animation adventure. Okay, so let's wrap that up and we'll move on to frame two. You let me know, Mr. V. For sure. Anyone else, if you have the time, then you can go ahead and maybe, uh, you know, clean your drawings out a little bit, maybe add a pocket here or there, not too many, like Mr. B said. You don't want to be killing yourself here. Give everybody about two more minutes and pick this back up at 6.05. Oof. <laughs> All right, Saron, I think we're good to go, but we may have lost your phone again. Sorry, everybody. Keep drawing to your heart's content. Sorry, everyone, messed up again. All right, I think we're good to go to frame two once you get your setup arranged. All right. How's that be? It's good. Uh, could you pull out a little bit more? Yeah. Good. And then the paper to the left a little bit more and then you're good. Nice, perfect. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put a fresh piece of paper over top of frame one, fresh piece of paper over top of frame one, okay? Um, hopefully, uh, let me get this. Okay. Now, hopefully you drew dark enough uh, so you can kind of uh, see it. Uh, we're all, I think we're all in San Francisco, or if at least in California, the Bay Area, so it's still daytime, so you can feel free to go to, uh, what is that sound? Am I still on camera? Yeah, we can see you fine. Okay. 
I just keep hearing these magical sounds, so I don't know if I'm leaving or not. Okay. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna go, what's the next first thing I do, Mr. B? Top left corner, we're gonna write frame two or F2 or number two. All those variables. Something to indicate it's our second frame so we don't get mixed up as we go. Okay. I'm not gonna complain, it's about the best we'll get it for now. Nice. Okay, I got my frame two. I can kind of see uh, uh, my frame one through this. What I want everybody to do right now is take your fingers. I need you to take your three fingers. I need you to press the weight on that, your thumb on th like this right here. And I need you to grab the far right corner. I need you to flip it. Now the goal is you flip it enough to where you keep that bottom page still resting on the ground and so your top page is going to have your new animation is going to be over top okay that's how you're going to be able to judge your animation okay we've got frame two now we've got frame two now uh so what we're going to do is we are going to make some significant changes but what we're going to do is try to uh trace as much as we possibly can um now what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to make this too complicated. I can kind of see, I hopefully all of us can kind of see our head. Now, what I want to do is, I want to try to trace our head as best we possibly can. Huh. I guess I could do that. I was going to kind of erase or sharpen my pencil, but I think I can deal with it. So I'm just going to do a, a direct trace. Any other situation, our head would probably bob a little bit more down during this walk cycle, but we're all new to animation, so we're not gonna make it super complicated uh, with ourselves. So we're just gonna kind of do a direct trace underneath, just so we can kind of keep something stable. Now you can notice that my character is getting a lot cleaner. Of course, I did all that work above. It's great to kind of check, always keep checking, making sure that your character's kind of maintaining that integrity, okay? I guess I got a little bit of a too high right there or too low. You can always come back and redo your frame one, two and clean it up a little bit. But I'm just gonna go, kind of go with that. Okay, I'm moving on. I'm gonna keep my body exactly the same. So if you can kind of see your body underneath this, I'm actually gonna draw my body. So we'll be able to kind of trace a little bit of that. I'm gonna kind of just make sure I keep my angle the same. Remember that angle that we had? So I'm just gonna kind of trace that. So that is definitely gonna stay the same. Now, here's the fun part. This leg that we have right here, this leg is, that we have out here is reaching straight out and it's hitting the heel. Now, what I wanna do is I want that to be flat on the ground. So that means that we're gonna have to have a bend in the leg. So we could do a direct trace up until, a direct trace up until the ankle, okay? And then the second that we go past that ankle, we have to actually do a ground impact. I got a little messy. I didn't need to get that messy. One thing I want you all to make sure is that you see these guidelines. I know that my person is walking on that line because I can still see it. It'd be best to kind of get a little bit of an indication here. So when you do your next frame, you don't go past that. So I'm gonna do a little bit of head there too so I know where my head is always, okay? So I know where my ground is, I know where my head is. 
Okay, now look at that leg kick and then slam. Look at that leg kick, slam, kick, slam, kick, slam. I'm actually gonna kind of boost it up because I did that to the other one with the foot because I kind of put that in there. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one. This is going to be a direct trace. It's going to be a direct trace, this back leg. Or remember, this leg is in front. So get all that accoutrement, get all that garbage out of there. Okay, so you see that leg in front. This is the leg in back. Now, what we need to do now is we need to have a toe bend. So this is going to come down at a slight angle now because we're losing a little bit of that height because what I want to do is I want to do a toe bend. So that means that my toe is going to be bent. That's what's keeping it stable. Okay. Let's flip, let's flip. So it's gonna drop the body a little bit. I'm gonna bring my, I'm gonna bring my uh, uh, guidelines out here a little bit. And then I'm just gonna bend, bend my toe. So it is your foot, but your foot is now gonna have that bend. It's gonna bend right at the toe. Okay, should be a good place to down. take a breather. Go I'm gonna, I'm going to stop. I'm just going to finish up the details of the pants. All right, let me know. All right, let's go. All right. Now, let's go back arm. Back arm now, it could be a direct trace. Now, if you wanted to get fancy, you could do this. I know that my image is underneath there. I see my arm. I can do a direct trace because I basically just need to drop my arm down a little bit. It just needs to drop down a little bit and get closer to my body. So I could come out, go straight to my elbow, down to my hand. My hand is not going to change at all. It's just a direct trace. I'm just going to lift that up. So if you can see, I just took this, I put it in an angle, and then did a direct trace. I took this, put it in an angle, then put it at a direct trace. So what it reads as when I'm walking is that my hand is moving down. Okay, but my hand did not change. It did not lose weight. It did not gain weight. Uh, it stayed exactly the same because it was a direct trace. Okay, I have my little watch right band on there. Okay, gonna make sure that my shirt stays in there right. Okay, I'm gonna do the last one. Now, this arm is going to, of course, be the exact opposite movement of this one. So as this one comes in, this arm is going to be, of course, out. So we can do a direct trace because if you think about it, this thing is going to kind of come up a little bit more. You're going to see a little bit more visual of it. So you are going to kind of spread it out a little bit and then move that hand out a little bit more. It's going to kind of come out and up. That'll be about as high as it'll probably end up going. Now, because we don't have the, the opportunity to uh, put this into the computer, this is about the most that you're going to get in terms of uh, that, that uh, creating an animation and visually seeing if it works or not. This flip is going to be the only way you're going to have access to that uh, until you get into the computer. Or you can put it on your phone. We'll talk about that towards the end. But uh, um, uh, really kind of connecting to be able to make this move, connecting to how that foot slams down, that is what animation is about. And if you can kind of embrace that, and really kind of connect to that, 
Everything else is just going to uh, develop naturally. Let me know, Mr. B. We can do frame three. We'll do. 616 right now. Well, everything is, everything is an experiment when it comes to distance learning. And that's what I love about it because that's what art is. Art is experimental. So it's just like we're living in a day and time where art is constantly being created. And I love it. I like it. I like I like it. It's a good take. And I hate sports, so it works out great for me. What about the sports? Oh, because sport, <laughs> doesn't it stop being played right now? Yeah, I don't care about sports. Although I like, I like, uh, I like uh, NBA 2K on PlayStation. <laughs> This is a fun game. Oh, okay. I think we're good for frame three. All right, frame three. I like to I like to have all my pieces of paper together. Personally, it feels good. Okay, it feels good to have all these drawings. You could just go ahead and not and just have your two. Uh, you know, just go and do your your one directly underneath it. But as an animator, you're really going to want to get into that shuffle. We don't have really great animator paper where it kind of where you can kind of like flip it and see the kind of flow. We just have like eight and a half by 11 paper, uh, but it's good enough. It's good enough. Okay, uh, Mr. B, what's the first thing that we do? I write F3, Saran writes number three, top left corner. <laughs> he always makes it difficult. I All right, <laughs> F3. You're it right, seems like the right. easier of the two. It's one less line also. Is it? between number oh, yeah it is one less line oh, it's hard yeah. stuff it's about efficiency it's about mm -hmm. efficiency okay i'm gonna put my guidelines in here so i'm gonna make sure that i have my baseline i know where my character is walking so he's not floating in the sky and i know his head is going to be right about here okay i just want to make sure i have all that stuff available okay now this is what i want to do uh, I'm going to draw his head. Now, what I'd like to do is I'm going to make things a little bit more complicated. I hope we can handle it. I see my head. I see my head through here. I see it exactly through there. What I want to do is I want to take my top sheet and I want to move it. Uh, I want to move it down just a little bit, just a tiny little bit. So you can still see my number because I actually want my head to go up a little bit. Okay. I want my character's head to bop up a little bit. Uh, I feel like uh naturally when you're doing it would be a gradual thing in animation here we're going to kind of do it abruptly but uh uh as long as we're doing it i think that's what counts i don't want to constantly be doing it because uh it kind of uh I, i'd rather trace as much as we possibly can uh uh if, while we're animating and learning versus constantly trying to have to pull this stuff off freehand uh, it makes things a little bit more complicated. So my whole goal right now was to just make sure that my head was going to bop up a little bit. So right now I got my head bopping up a little bit. That's all I want. Because right now, if you can imagine, uh, my character is going to be kind of uh, standing on one leg a little bit. So he's going to be slightly lifted. I'm going to go ahead and do my main body. Okay, I am going to uh, do a direct trace on this leg. Uh, this leg right here is going to be a direct trace. I might take a quick breather after this. Ooh, nice. And for anybody who feels a little bit lost, what we did was we traced the exact same ground line that we did before. And after we traced the ground line, we offset our paper a little bit by scooting it down. So that way, as we're tracing on our frame three, the head, the body, it's going to be slightly shifted up, but it's still a direct trace. We're just moving the paper a little bit. And that front leg is going to be a direct trace also. but still reaching the ground. All right, I think we're good. 
All right, this back leg is going to be completely up. So this character is just going to be standing on one leg. I'm going to I'm going to make sure that this back leg though is oh you guys hit the ball down. I'm going to make sure the back leg is sorry dogs uh, is a little bit lifted. So I'm just going to take it out to the um, uh, just to the to the knee. I'm going to make sure that my uh, uh, leg is pretty prominent here. And then I'm just going to have this thing a little bit high up in the air. I need to know, I know that my leg is not going to be any longer than this, right? Because I know that my foot is right here. So I'm just going to kind of lift up my, or lift my foot here. I don't want anything touching that ground. It all has to be lifted up. Okay. It all has to be lifted up. Okay. I think we're good. We're good. Let's move on to hands. Okay. I'm going to bring my hand in. I'm going to bring my hand in. Uh, I'm going to go or bring my arm in. I'm going to bring it real close to the body right here. I'm just going to go straight to the elbow. And then I'm going to kind of bring it over top of my body. Like this. Again, we're lucky with the hand. Uh, we don't have to draw it. Get those knuckles in there. Now, on on, on its own, any one of these poses is a just a good. Uh, uh, illustration. If you were able to take your character and draw them in any one of these poses, uh, it would look pretty cool. Uh, so these poses alone are, are, are worth something. I'm going to try to uh, slowly bring this back in, uh, bring this arm back in. So I'm going to bring it back down to its kind of original uh, uh, um, state. So I'm just going to kind of Calm it down, bring it closer to the body. So if I take it to the elbow, this thing, you're just not going to see a lot of it. It's just going to kind of just hide behind the rest of the body. And get my chest a little bit out here. I can see it kind of flattened up a little bit. I like what you said earlier about making sure your character doesn't lose or gain weight through each frame. Yeah, it'll happen. That's why you constantly need to flip and do your adjustments accordingly. But I think that's the fun part. Okay, let me know when we go to frame four, we'll be halfway done and it is 6.30, so that is awesome. So far, so good. Take about another 30 seconds and we'll move on to frame four. And one thing we've realized while teaching over the summer is that the more frames we do, hopefully the more comfortable you guys feel with the whole process when it comes to tracing and numbering and making these slight adjustments. So we will be progressively moving faster as we get further down the frames, but let us know if we're going too fast, if you have any questions, but hopefully you guys are getting in a comfortable swing of how to do this. And I think we're good to go. Frame four. Hey, frame four or F4. Do I have enough paper? Oh, gotta go get some more. Okay, I'm gonna do my magic shuffle. I got all four down here. I'm gonna go number four. Uh, I need to sharpen my pencil. Now, I like where the position of the head is right now because our body's gonna be at our official highest. So we're just gonna do a direct trace a direct trace. So if we have number four, we're not shifting anything. We're just doing a direct trace of the head. So let's do a direct trace of the head. 
Let's do that all together now. Now, as you can see, you're drawing the head multiple times. If you were really, uh, you could slightly change the expression over time if you wanted to, uh, that is another option. Uh, but kind of keeping the head just this way really kind of just trains you of just drawing uh, the same thing, getting comfortable with the face, trying to make keep that animation uh, clean and smooth. Okay, now, what I want to do is uh, I'm going to make a change. Now, we're going to draw our body. I know that the center of the bottom of my body ends right about here. I can kind of see it in my animation. But what I want my character to now do is my character is going to be standing on one leg, but he is going to be standing straight up. At this point in time in the walk cycle, he is transitioning legs. So that means that this leg that is in front is now going to cease it's gonna be the last position where it is going to be prominent, so to speak. So I'm gonna straighten my body up. So, it, so I'm gonna kind of do something like this. But when we first started, we started out a little bit of an angle. Now I'm going to straighten him up, okay? So uh, my character is now going to be swooping up and positioning and, and kind of straightening his body up a little bit, okay? You can see where it ends. So you kind of know where that, uh, where that kind of uh, um, uh, really should kind of start. This leg, this prominent leg, is now going to be basically straight, okay? So this is gonna be a nice prominent leg, it is going to be a straight leg. So if you wanna do anything, a direct trace, just straighten it out. I'm gonna go ahead, not to forget, I'm gonna do my baseline right here. Okay, let's see how that looks. So I'm straightening now my leg, which is shifting my body up, which now makes sense for a head to be as high as it is. So it'll have a little bit of a, of a, of a, of a leap in our head. And then eventually we'll kind of drop that down in a frame or two. I'm gonna do our next leg because it's really easy. Check this out. This leg now is completely almost hidden, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this leg. This leg is now going to kind of cross over to where we're basically only gonna be seeing a little bit of it and a little bit of that foot. This foot isn't bending. So you're barely going to see that last leg. Now, be careful. This is now, you know, make sure that you know what the prominent leg is. That's where you can kind of get you things know? a little bit messed up. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> Are we good? We got some uh, questions oh. or anything? Uh, so far, so good. I'm going to get my waist in there. Do I still have my, yes, my waist is still, I'm going to have to make it up, but I know that it was over there. So this makes sense to kind of come in here. Make sure our foot, my foot looks like it got a little bit small. So I'm going to kind of make it a little bit big, bigger. in the back. Okay, can I go? Yes. <clears throat> okay, let's have this arm completely down, uh, completely down. So I see this right here. I'm just gonna bring my arm. I know that's where it is. Uh, I know that's where my elbow is. So I'm just going to bring my arm straight down. It's going to have a slight bend, okay, wherever that hand needs to be. Again, it's just going to be a square, a bit of thumb action. I'm going to erase all that so you just don't get distracted by my muddiness. Let me get those knuckles in there and then do a flip to make sure everything's still working.
This next one, we are only going to probably see a little bit of that hand. Okay. Might be a little bit lower though. Let's get that hand a little bit lower. You're just going to be seeing just a little bit of it. The elbow's actually bent, but you're not going to see that much of it. You might see a little bit of it, but not that much. You'll see, tend to see a little bit more on the next one. All right, let me know, Mr. B. For sure. We would have never t drawn two hours straight without taking a break, but do you feel like we need to take a break? I think we're doing okay, especially yeah. the pace we're going at. Yeah, is anybody getting burnt out yet? Because this is how we roll. Yeah, I'm assuming everybody- hang, Let us know, we're happy to slow it down. If you guys need a break, speak up. If yeah, need to slow it down, let us know. For real, because this is art and we're here for you and we're actually doing pretty good with time. Mm -hmm. So if you need, to slow, you, if you need to, us to slow it down, we're cool. My assumption is though that uh, everybody here has some experience drawing. So hopefully it's an interest and not a chore. Well then I'm loving it then. My kind of, my kind of crew. All right, are we going to frame five? We are, wow, you're like intuitive. You could actually like <laughs> put up a street sign and do palm readings. New career, Brendan. New <laughs> career. Um, okay. Uh, what are we doing in this top left corner, Mr. B? F5. I'll just do that, just for you. Just for you. Tell me how it feels. It feels better. Oh, it feels so good with that one wow. last line. <laughs> okay. I'm going to, I have all my papers stacked up just because I'm crazy like that and I like it. It feels good. Um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and draw my horizon line down here, just so I make sure I know where that is. I'm going to draw my, my eye line, which I feel like I have not drawn my eye line in a while because uh, uh, I moved my head, but we're going to have to drop this head down a little bit. I'm just going to try to bring it over here. Um, this is what I want to do. Uh, we are switching legs officially here, so we have to be kind of a uh, 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 a little aware of that. Actually, we have one more last frame. Uh, let's drop the head on the next one. So let's do a trace. Let's do an exact trace uh, on this head. So let's go ahead and do that. I've drawn this head five times, but that's what animation is. Now, if this was digital, we could probably just cut and paste this head five times. Or the computer usually knows that this is the head that it needs to bring up. So it will store it in its memory and then call it up uh, when it's needed. Um, uh, but that's just technology. None of that we have. So here we go. I'm going to bring this uh, uh, head forward. I feel like our body is now going to kind of stay the same. So I'm going to do a direct trace on this body. Um, I'm going to do, we know that that's going to be centered. We also have our arm in the way right now. So I'm not going to draw my body too much. If you can kind of see, I'm just going to kind of do, uh, just kind of get it still the straight that we have. I'm going to get this main leg that we showed. This leg is about to push off. So remember where we did, um, where we did a uh, uh, toe. So I'm gonna do a direct trace straight to the knee. And then I need my foot to be foot toe. So remember where we had the foot was bent to where we'd see the toe, that's where we have to go. So for instance, if I take this, I am now kind of bending my toe up. So it is toe bend and foot bend. Ooh, this now, is this, a tough one. It is a tough one, but all you need to be concerned about is the toe bend. It's very important that this foot is going to be its last leg. It's lifting off. 
So you have to have half the foot, half the toe, half the foot, half the toe, and then still that heel, okay? The other one's fun though. So if you could get this one, ooh, you're you're gonna be you're gonna be rolling, you're gonna be rolling pretty nice. I'm gonna move on, yeah. Mm -hmm. Boom! I'm gonna have this leg straight up, straight to the knee. And I'm gonna have it bend down. Now this is not touching. This is not touching yet. This is about to touch. Okay. So this is just swinging up. This is just swinging that swinging that leg up. Sorry, everyone. I lost my space right here. I'm gonna kind of jazz it up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna move my arm. I'm gonna move my arm up. I'm going to, or move my arm a little bit forward. So I'm gonna go straight to the elbow. Let me get my shirt in there. I'm gonna go straight to the elbow and then I'm gonna have my arm out. Again, we scored with the hand. We're only seeing the inside of the hand. So we don't need to do anything too complicated. Okay, so look at that hand. Now we bring our hand out. So this is what you call the Roger Rabbit. Um, it's a dance that we used to do in the 90s. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, dude, doesn't that look like the Roger Rabbit? Well, I don't know what the dance is. Oh yeah, that's right, you're like 25. <laughs> Thanks, it looked like this. It oh. Looked like this. Now it's called, um, they have a name for it now, it's in Fortnite. Oh no, really? Yeah, I forget what it is. Type in the chat if you remember. <laughs> <laughs> All good things. <laughs> we can do the other arm. Let's do the other arm. The other arm's super simple because this is it. Done. We can maybe put the sleeve there, but everything else is going to get covered uh, by uh, the body. Might not be that dramatic, though. Make it a little bit more subtle. better. Again, if you're animating this, literally it'll only be seen at a quarter of a second. So it's a Roger Rabbit or whatever they call in a Fortnite. And it bug me. Well, clearly we have no Fortnite fans if nobody's <laughs> into it. All right, how are we doing? We're good, maybe one more, 30 seconds, one more minute, jump to frame six. We've got about 20 minutes left of all together. All right, F6. F6, ooh, F6. Okay, F6, one less line. I'm gonna sharpen it up a little bit because I'm coming correct. 
with frame six here. Now, this is almost where we started. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of come back to bringing my head down. So I think like what the coolest thing that we, easiest thing that we can do is we can take frame one and take it over frame six. Don't be confused or anything. Take <laughs> frame one and put it over frame six. Over or under. Get your, uh, uh, put it under, under. So I've got frame six, I'm gonna put over top of frame one, okay? I'm gonna make sure that I have my, my, uh, my horizon line, my little line right here, my walk line, and my head line. But the most important thing is I'm just gonna trace my head because my head's in a perfect position that I need. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a nice trace. This is the only thing that I'm gonna trace because this is the only thing that I'm gonna need. I'm gonna get rid of this as soon as I am done with the head because I just need it for the head, okay? I'm gonna put it right back into the mix. So six, get six out of here. Or I mean one, get one out of here, sorry. Animation is a little confusing at times. And I'm gonna take frame six and put it over frame five again. So we're back to where we started. But now, if you can see, I've got a good position for my head. I got my head bobbed down there now because uh, I'm about to kind of uh, shrink my body a little bit, drop my leg. All right, I think we're good for the body. Okay, we're going on. Frame six, I'm gonna put my body at an angle now. So I'm gonna kind of take this and put it at an angle. Okay, get my waist in there. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to push off with, uh, with this toe. So I'm actually going to, this actually, we're gonna to have to draw a little bit. So I'm gonna take this leg and I'm going to move it like this. Now, this is our prominent leg. I'm just gonna take it to the knee. And I need to push off. So where this is, where this was, I need to kind of have it a little bit more out at an angle. Keep everything the same, but the thing is, is it has to move. So I wish we could trace it, but it's gonna have to move. Now I have a size problem. So I'm gonna fix that. Okay, this next leg, I mean, this is just the easiest one. It goes straight out and lands. So if you wanted to, you could go straight to the knee and then straight out. Actually made it probably kick out a little bit too much. And I think he got, his leg got a little bit skinny. So I'm gonna shorten that up a little bit. So this is the fun part of animation. I mean, you know, you're kind of able to like see that leg extend out and hit the ground as the other leg kind of pushes back. I feel like uh, I got a little bit skinny on my leg here. If I can increase the size of that. Okay, let's uh, bring this arm a full extended, okay? So it, it's almost exactly where we want it, except for we're going to, I'm gonna take it to the elbow but we're just gonna have it up out a little bit more 
just a little bit. Let it glide up a little bit. This elbow is gonna come fully out. So let's take this out. Now, uh-oh, here it goes. We actually have a hand that we have to actually see the <laughs> insides. That's horrible. Artist's worst nightmare. It is, and I always ha hate to do it upside down. So thumb on the inside, let's do it like this. And then, so thumb on the inside, kind of getting it and this wrapping up over all those fingers. So that's about the best way you can kind of do it. Get my shirt in there. I actually might even move this arm up more we actually probably could move up a lot more. And I'm just gonna just erase it, not just from the elbow up. I feel like why not really make this impact. You know, why not get it up? So I got that arm up, I got that leg kicking. I don't know if Fortnite, if there's a dance that that is got that <laughs> name, but. I'm sure there is. If not yet, it's there will be. It's our dance today. Yes. See, it's like kick, kick, kick. And this computer paper just like uh, doesn't last very long. If you're flipping. Okay. Let me know. Uh, we're good. 12 minutes. We're good. Let's move on. Let's move on, people. Last frame. Or no, second to last frame. Mm -hmm. Frame seven, F7, F7. The thing is, though, it does get a little bit easier uh, because mm -hmm. everybody kind of gets used to drawing the thing over and over again. Right. Just slight changes each time. Yeah. Okay, let's take frame six. Now, I think that at this point in time, everybody's pretty much used to um, what this next feet are going to do. Uh, let's just go ahead and do a direct trace of the face. And then let's worry about everything else after this is done. So let's go ahead and do that together. Okay, um, oops, I went too far. Uh, okay, I was just getting into tracing. Let's just got it for a second. Okay, so we got our character right there. Let's do frame seven. I'm gonna keep our body in the same motion. Okay. I am gonna bring my uh, leg. Now, what we, what we have here is we have the most prominent leg back here we really need to now lift this off the ground. So what I wanna do is, we have our body in an angle. What I wanna do is I wanna take it to the knee and I wanna lift up. Now let's make sure that our leg doesn't get too long. So I know that my foot's probably not gonna extend more than, than that length. So I want my foot off the ground. Here's my guideline on the ground. So don't get confused. So I'm lifting that up. Okay, now this is the leg that is further away from us, this next one. I'm just gonna kind of cut that in here and get that dude's waist in there just so you're not confused. 
okay? I'm gonna do this other leg. Now this leg is, was out, and this is the fun part. It is going to slam down. So I want this thing slammed down. So we're gonna go to knee, and then we are going to make sure that this slams down. So it is down on the ground, bam, okay? It will feel good to flip that. It's gotta, you gotta show it, boom, boom, boom. If it doesn't feel, if you're not feeling that slam, then you ain't doing it right, okay? You gotta feel it, you gotta flip it and then feel it. You see, you see that your character slamming that foot down. Okay, boom, 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 boom. If you ain't feeling that, you ain't doing it right. Erase it until you feel it, slam down on that. Okay. I'm gonna bring my arm down. So I'm gonna take it to the elbow and then just bring it a little bit down. Let's calm it down. It was really high, but we're gonna calm it down. I'm gonna do a flip. I don't think anybody's gonna care that we're probably gonna run five to six minutes over. I don't think anybody's going to care. We can't invest this much time into ourselves and not give ourselves an extra five, six minutes, huh, Mr. B? I feel it, but I think we're at a good pace, too. I know. I'm just, I'm just warning. The heads just up. in case. Just in case. A little bit of I'm going to take this and do a little bit. This is going to be up now and at an angle, okay? So I'm going to take this to the elbow, bring it down. We still have to show the inside of that, inside of that. Um, hand. E, e. Okay, let me hold off on that. Let's catch up on this last one. Go ahead. Okay, frame eight. Let me know, Mr. B. For sure, another like 30 seconds. And make sure you're also flipping between as frequently as possible. And same thing, if not able to get all the details you want, that is okay. We just want to make sure we're moving our character. With that being said, let's jump to our last and final frame Ooh. of the evening. That is quite an accomplishment, everyone. I just want to say, uh, nice job. Animation is not easy. It takes a <laughs> considerable amount of concentration. A considerable amount of concentration. Me and Mr. B try to make it as easy as possible, but mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. it is still something that I'm always impressed when everybody can kind of uh, hang in there and finish a project. One thing that everybody needs to understand that one of the biggest things of being an artist is finishing a project. Understand that being an artist is literally the easiest thing uh, you can do in the world because all you have to do is call yourself one. Uh, but that being said, what really makes you an artist is finishing and completing projects, okay? That's like one of the hardest things uh, for artists to do. Uh, because every time you complete a project, you're as good as that project and it gives you an opportunity to come even better on your next one. So finishing something, congratulations. Frame eight, frame eight people, let's do this. I'm gonna do a direct trace on my face. Hey everyone, this is the last time you'll be drawing this same face again. So embrace it, enjoy it, this is the last time. Make sure that you Put in all your appreciation and say, thank you, Faith, for letting me draw you eight times. And every time I drew you, you just got better and better and better. Bittersweet. Okay. Uh, let's do this. I'm gonna keep the body at this same angle. Uh, one thing that we now will notice is that this left, this main foot is going to be completely off the ground, but let's center it a little bit. Now it was off to the back, let's center it. So let's like make sure that it comes right off the center of the character. I'm gonna erase it here a little bit, I went a little off. 
So I'm going to take it to the knee directly below. So now this is going to be the main leg that we're going to have here. It's going to be right in the center of us right here. I want this to be very prominent. I want us to kind of see this leg is being kind of, uh, see I'm a little off. I want this leg to be in the center of everything. While this one is covering it up. So I want this one to be barely seen. I want this to be barely seen. So I want this to be kind of covered up as much as possible, but on the ground. So I just need this leg to be the most prominent one and this one to be kind of hidden a little bit. Okay, and it's gonna bring us right back to where we started. Ooh. But on I the other it. side, but on the other side. Last time we're gonna have to do this arm. I'm just gonna stretch this arm out a little bit. I'm gonna go straight to the elbow and then out. Kind of look like I drew his muscles and stuff in there too. I'm getting a little tired now. <laughs> That's okay, we're on a last frame and then maybe a brief explanation at the end. Like go over? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna do the last leg. This arm is gonna just come in. So we're not gonna see that much of it. It was an intense one, but it was really fun. Okay, so let's talk about this while you're all finishing up this last frame. So here are your options, okay? If you wanna make this thing come alive, uh, I think the best option is to just get any kind of stop motion application on your phone uh, or your iPad. Uh, the majority of them are free um, and you just have to watch an ad or you can pay like three bucks and you can get a good one, especially now that you're all interested in animating. Uh, so that allows you to basically be able to shoot your frames as if you were kind of doing claymation, so to speak. So you shoot one frame, you shoot another frame, you shoot another frame, and then you play all the frames backwards. The, the ideal thing though, is to see if you get your position or do you get to, to shoot your uh, uh, animations, you shoot your frames with some kind of stability factor, meaning you kind of grid it out on your paper and then you're actually able to make sure that when you're taking a photo, you're taking a photo of the paper in the same exact position each time. So when you're seeing uh, uh, when you're seeing each frame play back, uh, the character's not jumping around or anything like that. Uh, that is an option. I think that is your best option, especially if you guys want to kind of move forward with animating and you don't have a computer or you don't have an iPad with those applications and an Apple Pencil, uh, which is, you know, uh, all the stuff that you really need to kind of do. Oops, did I just kill myself? It's okay. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I just like, I hit the wrong button. Okay. Um, you want to jump back uh, to the main camera? Yeah. Does anybody need it anymore? I think we're good. Yeah. They're all at this point at the end of this course are all all star artists. Okay. So, okay. So you ping me then. You have to turn the uh, camera. Uh, oh, yeah. Good point. Okay. Hey. Uh, so let me get this stupid out of the way. So uh, I think like ideally when you're shooting these, uh, uh, when you're shooting these frames, you just want to have them in a good position. So every picture that you take uh, stay, uh, keeps them stable. If you want to do it super ghetto way, you just take your phone and you take a picture of each one of these. And then you go back to your uh, photos and you just scroll on your photos. And then that will technically animate the, the photos that you're seeing. 
So you're just basically scrolling down uh, and animating. So either way, it gives you an opportunity to uh, see these come to life, okay? I'm gonna try to, if I get some time, I just got back from vacation, but if I get some time, I'm gonna throw these online uh, so people can kind of see uh, what we did today. So I'll try to digitize them uh, and put them in an animation thing. I'll do it tomorrow though, because I want to go home, go home and go to bed. My poor dogs, look at them. They haven't even <laughs> eaten dinner yet. Um, uh, but uh, uh, I thought this was fun. Mr. B, what did you think? It was actually a blast. I had a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, it too. Yeah, I hope everybody enjoyed it. I hope that inspired you with the animation. All you young people, if you were young people out there like Calvin, uh, and you guys want to learn some stuff, uh, please check out after school classes. Adults though, uh, we are actually coming out with some uh, uh, online painting classes, uh, which are going to be pretty fun. Uh, we're going to be doing some Everett Earl landscapes. So uh, if you're interested in learning how to paint, uh, that's an opportunity for you older people. Sorry, we had uh, another well. question, Saran. Uh, she wants to know if we can scan these pictures to digitize. That's even better. Yes. I mean, if you, if you know how to use Dropbox, have at it. Dropbox has one of the best, best uh, scanning features. Uh, and then you can just scan them and then compile them together in any kind of animation uh, uh, application. So uh, all those are good options, uh, whatever you want to do. Uh, so uh, any other questions? Let's open it up for that. Any questions about anything? Life, love, art, whatever you guys want to no, know. Just, I don't have time for life and love. <laughs> we just got to thank uh, you. You're very welcome, everybody. <laughs> Calvin, it's good to see you, buddy. Right on. Uh, I, 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 uh, Calvin was in our animation class. He did such a good job. Uh, mm -hmm. Everyone else, uh, thank you so much. I hope you appreciate it. Uh, I need you to understand that uh, distance you. learning and all this stuff is like, is brand new. And like, uh, you know, we are trying our best and we're always learning and all the feedback that you could give us or, 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 or any praise, we're all down with all of it. Uh, this is all new and all we're trying to do is just share. All we're trying to do is just, uh, uh, make life better considering that uh, we're kind of in a bad situation right now. So we're just trying to give people things to do and we're trying to make life a little bit better. Um, but other than that, uh, we appreciate it. We appreciate uh, um, um, uh, uh, everybody who brought us out here uh, to uh, Youth Art Exchange. We really appreciate it. We're happy to be here. Cool. Thank you both. Really, I feel like very inspired, um, creative, and just like very blessed that you guys um, joined us. And I think Amy wanted to make some quick um, mm -hmm. announcements. Really Hi guys, um, hey. I'm Amy Infante. Hey, I'm with Youth Art Exchange. I kind of help um, special projects like this. So thank you so much for putting this together. It was super fun to watch. Um, it was a great kickoff to this series. So I just want to let everyone know that this is part this is the inaugural workshop of a monthly uh, series celebrating black artists and trying to navigate having art in this digital world we're in. So thank you guys so much. And for those of you who want to keep um, touching base with us, keep developing art in different media, we're going to do this, do this every first Wednesday, five to seven for the next few months. Wow. Awesome. Wow. Yeah. So you got everyone to seriously take advantage of this. Please take advantage of this. Super awesome. So yeah, thank you. I'm so happy to be able to set the tone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, uh, for the rest of this. So that's all good. I'm excited. Thank you. A pleasure. All right, Thank everyone. you again for having us. Stay safe immediately right now. Go wash your hands. That's what I always say. Go do it. Okay. Everybody stay safe. Uh, don't be afraid to contact me and Mr. B, SaranNorrisAcademy.com. We're doing all kinds of stuff. Also, feel free to stop by the gallery. I have uh, uh, 28, uh, 2860 24th Street. Uh, I got a big window display uh, with all my art and my latest posters and stuff like that. We're about to have a big TV in there too. Uh, so there'll be a bunch of, bunch, of, bunch of different things you can enjoy just standing outside uh, and not have to uh, actually enter the gallery. So social distancing artwork coming soon, okay? So feel free, everyone. Thank you so much. Mr. B, thank, thank you, you buddy. I really appreciate you coming oh, out pleasure. and helping us today. Everyone, uh, 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 thank Mr. B for me. Thank you, Mr. B. <laughs> this he's is a lot such of fun. A, he, thank he's you such a, support, a good support for me, and I feel like I wouldn't be able to teach if it wasn't for Mr. B, because uh, we kind of <gasps> connect together and get things done. Uh, so thank you, everybody. I am out of here. Thank you. It Goodbye. Was so much Have fun. a good night. Goodbye. Good luck with school, everybody. See, take it easy, Calvin. Yes. Goodbye, Bonnie. Goodbye, Mariko. Goodbye, oh, yeah. Carrie. Bye, and Calvin. thank you again. Say hi to your dad exchange. for me.
Yeah, thank you, Youth Exchange. Good luck with this year, okay? You guys ever need me? Take it easy, know. guys. I'm there for you. Thank you again. Same. Thank you. All right. No worries, guys. Take it easy. Have a good day.